I don't think it's very fair that they call this fresh water as opposed to ocean water, salt water. If it's fresh water, it makes it sound like you could just drink it, and it's gonna make it's probably gonna make you sick too. It should be called like non-salt water. Local ancient Indian grinding rocks. I think they turned it to the side. Pretty cool. I didn't realize there was a back entrance. To this church. Where they give uh, some kind of free food today. Alright, very nice choices at this uh, food bank. It's just a whole foods, fruits and vegetables type of thing. Big sack of bananas. I thought it would be all fruits and vegetables. Well, it kind of is with these packages. Got to eat through them kind of fast. This hummus, sunflower chickpea, and then potatoes and apples. I left my bicycle at the, or I left my computer at the library so I rushed to the food bank the church and I want to get right back just hopped in my car this is covering maybe a mile or two these potatoes a well, sweet potato too these potatoes seem to handle heat pretty good I'm pretty impressed with that like carrots shrivel up to to nothing but the potatoes hold themselves up pretty good Maybe I'll bring this to the library. They don't seem to watch me very closely. Maybe I'll bring them both. They're, they're leaking a little bit. A little bit of liquid you could see. Yeah, good, good choices though. Bring these to the library and normally you can't eat. This I want to protect. Absolutely, this would be something I might want to eat later even though I got quite a bit of th stuff to eat. The chickpea hummus might go good with my potatoes, which I should expose to the sun. You know, if you're going to have them warm, you might as well have them exposed to the sun because that's, that well, this heat is just expose these to the sun. They can get, these, these potatoes can get really slimy. The sunflower chickpea hummus takes, tastes pretty good with potatoes added. The hummus is too strong by itself, but adding potatoes helps helps uh, shallow it out more and just make it make it more make it last longer. All right. So after having tried laying my bicycle down on top of all my garbage, uh, I I got tired of it, and so now I moved these things back here again, and I, I want to go back to the uh, having the bicycle stand up but now I got a new idea but I need uh, the right thing I want to be able to attach this bicycle to this permanent hook thing that way it'll stay up it does have a tendency to rock down so if I could kind of like lock it to the side with that I just need to find the lock all right, so I got it set up uh, kind of the way I, I like it. I'll just see what it uh, feels like the next few weeks. The complaint I have about this place is the water tastes like dishwasher fluid. It's not good. Are there enough signs around here? You go to Condon, John Day, Pendleton, they're all far away. Then you gotta cover all the same information this side unlikely very different businesses got this guy hauling lumber for a construction deal snake river trailers and then a car car transporter Seems kind of low to the ground, but I guess that's for the business, for the car, to get the cars on. So they gotta let us know that they're using, oh they need drivers. They're using electric, electric logs. United 
road out of Michigan. Town Throwdown. Next month. Freestyle. And I've seen these guys. I've seen like the kites in the air off in the on the river off in the distance. This area of uh, this city makes me think of Crescent City just by the sidewalk layout. It's uh, different, but this is a lot of similarities. All right, so apparently a John Day Dam uh, destroyed the, the first city hall. Go use the picnic table at, off in the distance there, but they, they're currently spraying. They're, they're watering the grass at 7 a.m., a little after 7 a.m. Yeah, can't they do that overnight? Oh, they're doing it over here. They just, they're on over here now. Why do they got to turn the sprinklers on at 7 a.m.? Why can't they be doing that, scheduling that at, at like 3 a.m. or something? I learned a skill back in that trailer court. When you bring in new fish, you just keep them in the bag. All right, my mom and, well, her boyfriend at the time, who's now the husband, they... Whenever they got new fish, they'd keep them in the bag when they bring them from the pet store. And that just helps the fish acclimatize. Yeah, I guess you just don't pour the fish directly into the fish tank. You keep them in the bag for a couple hours. Either way, I take that analogy for when I drive to a new area. I haven't stepped outside this car yet, and it's been, a, been over an hour. I just parked here and just been sitting and watching trying to get on the internet but it's helping me acclimatize I'm listening I'm I'm watching I'm just seeing what the movement is like all around me around here and then I'll eventually release myself from the car And what is this thing? Is it kind of a weather station? Alright, so that's a slow moving barge. Pushing another craft. It's going against the, ro the water. I'm amazed how steep this hill is and how there's people actually living towards the top of it, up and down. There's a church I want to seriously consider parking on the side of the road. Oh, that's too bad. Lots of quail around here, They're really cute. It's so old for this impoundment. I can't tell if this spot is private or if it's part of like a city turnout. It really seems more like the city would own it. And did they throw this down? This is 2015. Did the vehicle come from that state? I find this interesting. Some kind of a door that goes underneath the street here. And I'm overlooking a house. And some very old stairs. These things are like cracking. They sound hollow. It's weird. It looks like new concrete. It's in a nice neighborhood on the top of a very tall hill. You're looking down on a lot. I 
You see the windmill? Okay, I find this amusing. Look at these stairs. No longer in use. They just kind of built over them. They didn't want to destroy them because they're concrete. Just make a little platform over it. You know, if you think about it, they wouldn't build these windmills. Okay. If they didn't think... If they didn't think that this place was windy. This place, you get warned that this place is windy and the highway heading up here says warning, windy. Windy conditions. And there's a few places around that will give you those warnings. You gotta worry about the wind as a driver. Those tall trucks gotta worry more than me. Evidenced by the windmills. Look at that. These people see the windmills every day around here. But that affects their attitude. They're all around. Off in the distance there. Seems like within touching distance. Maybe they get good discounts on electricity. Alright, so United Methodist. And I'm told that there's supposed to be some kind of a food bank. Man, it is on such a hill. It's incredible. That's weird. Okay, so this is at the church. And this is very common for the, uh, the the thrift shops. They'll throw away the bad stuff. People love to dump real bad stuff. And unfortunately, this church is a victim of that. I don't know if you can... Nah. Alright, so this is all at the United Methodist. It's at 1.30, so I want to be here at 1. That's a pretty neat cross. Alright, so coming further down, wow, what is this, a hangout? Some kind of a hangout here, around the, the church. They got a nice, well, kind of a nice view. <laughs> Not great, I didn't realize there was a canal. Not sure where exactly it goes. It's a pretty neat view of the area, this, whatever this road is.